saving time with Oracle Clips. Welcome to this clip video on creating and managing custom Oracle Linux images with the Image Builder tool in Oracle Linux Cockpit Web Console. To use Image Builder in the Cockpit Web Console, you must install the Image Builder and Cockpit Dash Composer packages and enable the Image Builder service. You can follow the installation steps for Image Builder and the Cockpit plugin in this free video. After logging into the web console, we find Image Builder in the side menu under Apps. We are presented with three tabs, defaulting to Blueprints, which lists any blueprints already in the tool. The Images tab lists any custom images that have already been created or in the process of being created. The Sources tab allows us to manage our specific Image Builder defined repositories used for building custom images. We see the Image Builder defined repositories specific to the tool. Other source repositories can be defined with the Add Source button. Clicking the Blueprints tab, for Image Builder to create a custom image, you must first have a valid blueprint loaded into the tool, which provides the specifications for creating the image. For the blueprint already loaded into the tool, it shows the blueprint version, the last time it was used to create an image, how many images have been built with it, and the number of additional packages selected to be added to the image created from the blueprint. First, let's look at this blueprint. We click on its name. Another three tabs are presented. Customizations, which allows us to define additional services and configurations to be initialized when the image is used. Packages are additional packages to the standard image to be included. And Images shows any images built, pending or being processed from this blueprint. Returning to the home page and the Blueprints tab, we start creating a new image from the blueprint with the Create Image button. This opens the Create Image dialog, stepping us through the process. We can take the blueprint offered or choose a different blueprint from the dropdown. We must also choose the final image type from the dropdown. We'll choose the Oracle Linux installer to create an ISO image. Next moves us to the next step, and here asks to review the choices before clicking Create to start the process. We see a notification that the image creation has been added to the queue. Clicking the Images tab, we now see a second image listed, and under the Status column shows Building. We see the image ID and the blueprint used, and the image type being created. The building process will take some time, and only when finished will the download image button become available. We also see a second image with ready status in the list. We return to the blueprints list. Clicking on export blueprint, the dialog allows us to copy out the contents of the blueprint in JSON or TOML format. We can use import blueprint to import a TOML or JSON blueprint file. Upload the file into the dialog and use import. Let's click the create blueprint button to configure a new blueprint. This opens the Create Blueprint dialog, which will step us through selecting packages and customizations. First, we give the name second ol 9 5 and always remember to click Next to set the choice or setting. For packages, in the search box we look for Python 3 and click the arrow to search. Scrolling down the list, I pick Python 3 and click the arrow to move it to the chosen packages list. I search for and add Tmux and Tiger VNC as well. We click Next to move to the customizations. Here we can choose a number of configurations and services to be initialized when a system is created with the image. I choose Users and click the Add User button to add a new user called User1 and its password, but remember to click Next when you're done. Same with Groups, I click Add Group, add the wheel group and click Next. Selecting Other, I set the host name and click Next, then click Review. We are offered to review our selections. When happy, we click Save to create the new blueprint. This shows us a Customizations tab we see the user, groups, and other boxes with our selections in them. Clicking the Packages tab, we see the three packages selected. We have the Edit Blueprint button to reopen the dialog and make any changes needed. The Images tab lists any images created from this blueprint, so we click the Create Images button and we get the same Create Image dialog as before. And for simplicity, we choose the ISO output type again. At the Review step, we click Create to start. After a few seconds, the new image in queue notification appears and a new row is added. We return to the main screen for Blueprints and select the Images tab. We see the other new image is still building and our new image is now pending. If we refresh the browser and return to the Images tab, we see the first image is ready and the new image is now building. To download the image that it just finished, we click on the Download Image button. This opens the Browser Download dialog. We click Save to start the download. We can download a log file for the image build with the Download Logs button. To finish, we can delete an image from the tool with the Delete Image button. Returning to the Blueprints tab, we can delete a blueprint with the Delete Blueprint button. So that's how to use the Image Builder tool in Oracle Linux Cockpit Web Console. You can see more clips here, and don't forget to subscribe to always get the latest.